Hi, this is Mark from Red Dog Learning. In this series of videos, I want to show you how you can create learning content that is uh, presented in an interesting and informative way that makes best use of the space on the page. It's not necessarily entirely linear, uh, but it includes uh, the ability to incorporate additional information through things like rollovers and uh, popovers and tabs and accordions. If you don't know what those things mean, I'll show you as we go through. And the aim is to try and present material in a way that's more engaging for the for the learner. Um, and we're going to do this by using um, a framework called Bootstrap, which is one of the most popular uh, open source frameworks um, available on on GitHub, which is a, a repository for open source. Uh, code and, and code, pro uh, code based projects. Um, now, before we, we get into what we're going to do, if you, if you want to find out a bit more about Bootstrap and what it can do, you can visit getbootstrap.com and you can download Bootstrap and it contains all of the files that, that you need um, to, to be exploring and playing with Bootstrap. Um, in the actual example that we'll use, we don't need to download anything, but um, if you, certainly if you want to play with Bootstrap, you can do that on your own machine um, and, um, and play to your heart's content. But what I'll do while we're on this page is just to show you some of the things that, that, that are beneficial about using Bootstrap. Um, it was first designed um, for use with Twitter. Um, to provide a consistent user interface across um, Twitter products, and then it was open sourced onto, onto GitHub. And it's, a, it's essentially a CSS framework that works with modern HTML5, and it gives you a consistent convention for naming and styling objects in the page, and, and laying those, those um, objects out. Uh, it also contains uh, components um, that allow you to in include things like uh, grids and jQueries and stylized tables and those sorts of things. Um, and it, create, it includes a, um, a, a layout grid as well, which we'll, which we'll have a look at. And you can step through the, the sequencing to, to find out how, exactly how um, GitHub works, um, sorry, how uh, Bootstrap works. I'm not going to go into each of these in, in detail, but just to show you what's available on the Get Bootstrap website. One of the things that's very important with Bootstrap is that it's designed as a mobile first platform or framework, um, which means that it's designed to render extremely well on mobile devices, phones, and um, tablets, uh, as well as laptops and desktops. So, um, it's a it's a very much a first class um, design environment for for those technologies. Um, in the components, um, there are a wide range of different components that it includes, um, including typography, pagination, navigation. Now we're we're only going to look at a very small number of these. We will have a look at these inbuilt. Um, glyph icons which are icons that can be used uh, without having to incorporate any images so all of this is based on the use of, of fonts um, um, from the glyph icon halfling set um, and we have some javascript components so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at things like using the modal window which is a window that pops up with additional information uh, which has buttons that you can do things with and here's an example we're going to build our own one of those um, we're going to have a look at using uh, tabs in layout and tabs are a useful way of uh, presenting information um, and saving on screen real estate at the same time we're going to have a look at using uh, tooltips to add additional information when users mouse over um, a link. We'll have a look at a popover, um, 
And so here is an example of a popover. And uh, finally, we will have a look at an example of using a collapse. So that gives you an idea of what we're going to do. Now, these, um, um, well, the example that we're going to build, we'll be able to use in um, to incorporate into a learning management system. And the example that we're going to use in the, in this series is to incorporate these uh, this content into a Moodle site. So at the end, I'll show you how to how to build a page, uh, add the components, and then um, upload that into a into a Moodle site. I'll show you a couple of ways of doing that. Um, so that's pretty much an introduction. In our next video, I'll, I'll get started and um, we'll we'll start to do a little bit of uh, pretty basic um, coding, very very simple, and um, we'll we'll add the necessary parts to get started. All right, thanks.